What's up, guys? Optimal being week eight and nine. Eight and nine, I believe. And week eight was talking about, I didn't make a video, so I'm combining them. And week eight, we talked about our operating system, our automatic operating system. Sometimes, a lot of times we respond out of emotion and then we think back later with our logic or whatever it is. But the operating system that sometimes it triggers a program and then automatically we have the way that we supposedly are. And it's really just something that we have to kind of look at and kind of dive into the program of what we started and, and figure out that we can actually change the way that our, that our operating system works, that automatic responses and that automatic stuff, that automatic, those automatic thoughts, we can actually change those. And people think that we can't. And I know that I can, I've, I've done it before. And so I know, but it takes work. It does take work. It, it, it takes a lot of work and it's going to be uncomfortable and it's, it's going to be emotional and, and it's going to show you a lot about yourself. So, that was week eight. Now week nine, this week we talked about kind of how to, how to go about changing the way that our operating system works. And we can do that by the, the biggest, you know, takeaway for me was that personal code. What's the personal code that you have with yourself, not only with yourself, but with others. And an example of a personal code, just a short one would be, I promise to speak truth to you no matter how it makes me feel or what it's going to cause. And that that's just an example. That's not saying, I'm not saying that that's a perfect one or that's, but it's just a code, something that you speak to yourself, you speak to others. That's really speaking that truth, that, that integrity that holds you to be who you really are. And when you speak it like that, and you say it out loud, it's almost like a personal contract you sign with yourself that that's what you're going to do. You're going to, you know, you're going to be true to the other person. You're going to, you're going to tell them, you're going to be honest. You're going to speak like, you know, sometimes we have people in our lives that, that lie for no reason. Sometimes we lie for no reason. I, 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 can't, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I found very few instances when I just lie for no reason. I, I know why I lie in certain situations. And there's also situations that people lie because they don't really know why. And I've heard people tell me that, like, hey, why did you lie to me? I don't know why I lied. And so we can actually speak to ourselves and say, today I'm going to be true no matter what. In any moment, I'm just going to speak my truth no matter how uncomfortable it makes me feel, no matter what the consequence is, no matter what the result is. And when we speak that to ourselves, we realize that we let go of the result. We let go of what's going to happen. We let go of all the outcomes that, that come about. And it's really a beautiful thing. And the tools that the Optimal Being program is showing me are, are just making it simpler to attack those, those, those situations. And I'm going to say this and, and don't look at it as cocky or, you know, it's more of a humbling thing that I'm realizing that some, some of these tools I've been using, and I think I've said this in past videos, is that now I, I understand them more. Some of them come naturally, and now I understand how the process kind of goes within ourselves and how we can attack the more deeper ones because there are deep, deep, deep ones that I want to attack, and you may not want to attack them, but I know I, I've made the choice that I'm going to you know, be aggressive with those emotions and dig up what is really down there. And so one of the tools is that personal code. Make a personal code with, with yourself, and not only with yourself, but with others and one of the stories that rex told was about a couple who had been really on the fence and they actually had divorce papers within them like right there in front of them and the husband took it upon himself to speak his own personal code to a picture of his wife not even to her face and not even mentally as he's in front of her to a picture every morning and the divorce paper now he says that he's I think eight years later, the most happiest they've ever been in their, in their whole marriage. And simply like it was papers in front of them. They were about to sign and he started doing his own personal code to him, to his spouse, to his wife. And so that's a beautiful thing when a relationship like that can change because you made a choice to speak a personal code, not only to yourself, but to others and relationships is is huge that will relationships will show us 
everything about ourselves and especially intimate relationship like being married. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I haven't had any aha moments right now, but I know that they will come. My, my, my body and my brain, my emotions have been churning ever since yesterday. I had a pretty extreme intense experience where I was just bawling my eyes out and yeah, sometimes you just let it out. You don't really have to know what it is. Sometimes you just let it out and you cry and you feel better. Sometimes you got to cry. Sometimes you got to have a good cry and you just got to let it out. You don't really have to attack it. Sometimes you feel like crying, just cry, let it out. You don't always have to attack it at that moment. And I think that's where people get confused is that I'm crying. Now I got to, now I got to figure out why. Um, sometimes you feel like talking about it. Sometimes you don't. And that goes with yourself too. Do you want to talk about it with yourself at that moment? Or do you want to just give it a few days or maybe just a couple hours or a few minutes? It's not an instantaneous. You don't have to attack everything right away. Sometimes you have to breathe and you have to allow your body to get oxygen and that, that source to tell you what's really going on, God, source, whatever you want to call it, that download, whatever you're going to download. And that was another thing we attacked too was that thought, that true optimal thought that comes to us, those inspirations, those ideas. And the reasoning and the reason why we're crying or why we're upset. So optimal being week eight and nine, we are just, we're crushing it. We're crushing it. So I love you guys. Thanks for listening to the videos and checking them out. Please share them with anybody that you may think it may resonate with. And like I said, optimal being, check them out. They also got Journey's Dream, changing the world, guys. Change the world. They're being the change that they want to see in the world. And that's the key to life right there. Be the change you want to see in the world. Keep crushing it, guys. Love you all.